Today, I want to show you some hints on controlling several browser instances in TestComplete. As you may know, TestComplete is a commercial automated testing tool developed by SmartBear Software. It is designed to test various application types, including desktop, web, and mobile apps. TestComplete allows testers to create, maintain, and execute automated tests, making it a popular choice for enhancing efficiency in software quality assurance. I have prepared several tiny functions in TestComplete's JavaScript that I want to introduce now. TestComplete can solely control one process at a time. To execute several processes in parallel, you should use SmartBear's Test Execute tool. One of its highlights is the remote and parallel execution, which enables parallel test runs on different machines to speed up testing. But assuming you want to establish a test run, controlling several browser instances or browser tabs to switch between different user interactions to cover a business process, for instance, then the usage of the mentioned test execute might not be necessary. Now, I want to show you four tiny scripts which means four cases, and how to control these using the Microsoft Edge browser using several browser instances or tabs in standard or private mode. You can do the same with Chrome or Firefox too. However, the commands needed might be a bit different. The first function, open several browser tabs, shows the way to create several tabs in one MS Edge browser that is running in standard mode. In this function, I use the browser's object. The browser's object in Test Complete is part of the scripting features that facilitate automated testing of web applications across various browsers. Test Complete provides built in support for popular browsers such as Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, and others. The browser's object allows testers to programmatically interact with web browsers during test execution. It includes methods and properties to launch browsers, control browser instances, and obtain information about installed browsers. I use several methods of this mentioned browser's object like item to define the browser and navigate to load a website. Besides that, I use the sys object which is a very helpful command because it offers you access to system-related information. The sys object in Test Complete is a top-level object that provides access to system-related information and allows you to interact with system processes, applications, windows, and more. It serves as a gateway to access and manipulate processes, operating system details, and other system-level properties and methods. Here, I am using the sys.keys method. The sys.keys is used to simulate keyboard input for an application under test. It allows you to send keystrokes to the currently active application or control, replicating the effect of a user typing on the keyboard. Additionally, I integrated two breakpoints in each function. Thus, we can examine the results. The second function, open several private browser tabs, works like the first function. I had just to add the run option method of the browser's object, which I set to in private. This might be different if you are using e.g. Chrome. Here you should use the incognito option. Besides that, you can see the same composition of test complete commands. Also, I have here the two breakpoints. You can insert breakpoints by pressing the key F9. The third function, open several browser, opens three MS Edge browsers instead of tabs compared to the open several browsers tabs function you can see the different keystrokes in the sys.keys method. Here it is, the control N. In the two functions before, we simulate the control T user interaction. And again, you see the two breakpoints. The fourth function, open several private browser, is another variant of the open several browser function, opening three MS Edge browsers in private mode. Now let's run the functions separately. To do that, Test Complete offers the function by right-clicking on the respective function and then selecting the Run This Routine option in the sub-menu. After the start of the Test Complete execution, the browser starts and three tabs are created sequentially, and the websites of YouTube, Google, and Amazon are loaded. After continuation, 
The test run is loading the websites of Walmart, Microsoft, and IBM into the three mentioned browser tabs. At the end, the browser process is closed and you can see the test results in the test log. Now, let's start the second function. Again, just right-click and choose the run. This routine option executes the next function that initiates a MS Edge browser process running in private mode. Here, it is the same approach compared to the first function. 1. Create a new browser tab by simulating the Ctrl-T keystroke. 2. Loading the defined website. You can switch between the browser tabs by pressing the keys, Control Page Up, and Control Page Down. Of course, you should check something like the web page title, if you have selected the correct tab. But there are several ways in Test Complete to do that. After reaching the breakpoint, we click on the Play button in the Test Complete control box, and the test run substitutes the loaded websites with the new ones, Walmart, Microsoft, and IBM. After acknowledging the second breakpoint, the browser is closed and you can check the test run. The third and fourth functions deal with the option to load every website in a separate browser. The third function, Open Several Browser, runs the three browsers in standard mode. Instead of Ctrl-T, you should use Ctrl-N, which starts a new browser instance. The fourth function, Open Several Private Browser, proves that starting several browser instances in private mode is also possible. Just use the Ctrl-Shift-N keystroke instead of Ctrl-N. However, a better way to access the browser tabs and instances should exist. So, let's rerun one of these scripts. We have reached our first breakpoint and opened a browser with three tabs. Maybe Test Complete's Object Browser might help us. The Object Browser in Test Complete is a powerful tool that allows users to explore, analyze, and interact with the objects in tested applications. It provides an intuitive interface for viewing the properties, methods, and hierarchy of objects in your application's UI, enabling efficient test development and debugging. Let's delve into the object structure. Here, we can see all our processes running on the system. Here is our browser process. If we click on that, the process opens and offers several further elements, and here we can find our tabs. After clicking on one of these tabs, we find our page. Here we see the page of the Amazon website. Now we can examine a lot of parameters that we could analyze whilst test run. We just need the parameter at the top, the aliases.browser.page. This object identifier can be used as a command in our script. Alternatively, we could use the full name parameter. The sys.browser command could be used instead of the aliases. Browser command. You know already the sys object. Therefore, I have copied our four scripts into a new script file called unit3 and substituted the second part of each script by using the aliases.browser command. Here I am just selecting the web page by using the page method. Here I can just select the correct tab or page through the URL. The Toral method defines the website that should be loaded. Thus, the IBM website will be loaded in the tab of the Amazon website, the Microsoft website will replace the Amazon website, and the Walmart website the Google website. All other scripts have the same substitution compared to our first script set in the Unit 2 script file. As you can see, the first script runs smoothly. First, the websites of YouTube, Google, and Amazon are loaded. After confirming our first breakpoint, the websites of IBM, Microsoft, and Walmart are loaded. After the second breakpoint, the complete browser process closes. Now we can run our other three scripts that show the same results, regardless of whether we are using the private mode or running several browsers separately. All is running smoothly and you can easily control several browsers in Test Complete. If you like it, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and click the bell. Never forget our upcoming sessions. If you have any questions or hints, please leave a comment. Our certified QA experts will reply in time or even produce a separate video about your topic.
please also check out our other over 200 videos about software quality. Happy testing, see you next time.